what is going on guys welcome to your 34th chemistry tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about double displacement reactions now in the last tutorial we talked about single displacement reactions which was pretty much substituting one of the chemicals but in this tutorial we're going to be substituting more than one to be specific two hence the word double so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about let me go ahead and give you guys a real easy example say you have the compound AB and you combine it with X and Y well, after double displacement reaction takes place, you would have something like AX and also BY. So if you guys still can't see what's going on, you basically take one of the chemicals over here and put it over here and take something from over here and put it over here. And therefore, you have two completely new molecules. Pretty sweet, huh? So let's go ahead and take a look take a lake what no don't take a lake let's take a look at a real life example say we have something like silver nitrate now silver nitrate is a g n o wow nice three there it looks like a backward c a g n o three now we can go ahead and combine this with potassium chloride and the formula for that is k c l now whenever we do we pretty much have a double displacement reaction that takes place our silver is going to go ahead and combine with our chlorine just like that and also our potassium is going to go ahead and combine to form potassium nitrate and that is K N O 3 so if you can't see what's going on by now we basically took this potassium and moved it over here and we took this silver and moved it over here and in the process we ended up with two completely new chemicals or compounds so now let's go ahead and balance this baby and I'll show you guys a really quick way to balance kind of complex um, reactions and you guys don't have to use this technique but if you want to feel free so I go ahead and I write all my chemicals first silver nitrogen oxygen potassium and chlorine and then I go ahead and write the number of each Okay, so we have one silver, one nitrogen, three oxygen, uh, one potassium, and one chlorine. And I do the exact same thing on the other side. Silver, nitrogen, oxygen, potassium, and chlorine. Now let me go ahead and count them up on this side. Okay, we have one silver, one nitrogen, three oxygens. See, we got one potassium and one chlorine. So now from here, it's just easy wheezy. We just go ahead and make sure that they all match. And if they do, then we didn't invent or destroy any chemicals in the process. So are we good to go? I'll give myself a nice little smiley face and a head and a nice little body. Party, party all night long. So now let me go ahead and give you guys a little bit more complex reaction. Because, hey, we need to take things up a notch if you want to complete your homework assignment. Oh, you didn't know there was a homework assignment, did you? Well, surprise, biatch. Sorry, that's probably why they don't show my tutorials in schools because I say stupid things like that. But anyways, say we have something like hydrochloric acid. So we have hydrogen and it's combined with chlorine. Now if we go ahead and combine this with NaOH, what happens is we end up with HOH. And if you've never seen that before, it's because most people write it like this, H2O. But I wrote it like this for a specific reason and I'll tell you guys about that later on and also our sodium is going to go ahead and combine with our chlorine so if you guys are saying what the heck is going on okay what we did is we have this oxygen and hydrogen bonded together we pretty much took this hydrogen and shifted it over there and that's why I wrote it like HOH because we took a hydrogen and combined it with the oxygen and hydrogen but you can more technically and correctly write it like this H2O either way it makes sense and also what we did is we took this sodium and combined it with our chlorine so then we got this little baby right there so we pretty much use double displacement reaction to form two brand new chemicals bam wham bam thank you ma'am however the heck the saying goes so now let me go ahead and talk you guys through your homework what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys calcium chloride now this is C A C L 2 and I'm going to go ahead and combine this with two molecules of silver nitrate. So we have two AgNO3. Now what happens whenever you combine these is you have a double displacement reaction that takes place. And you get calcium nitrate, which is Ca. And that's a parenthesis right here. I know I you know, kind of wrote that weird. NO3. 
and 2 and you also end up with something else and I'll write that as a question mark your job is to find out what this thing is right here but before I continue I might as well tell you guys this because I don't think I mentioned this before but whenever you have parentheses I might as well draw those in blue so it kinda of stands out what that means is you basically have a uh, what's it called a subscript right here and you multiply that subscript by whatever is in the parentheses and the reason that we don't have the subscript out here is because that would mean we would have two calciums as well so basically in this little piece right here we have one calcium we have two nitrogens and we have six oxygens so there's a little hint because remember whenever you have a subscript right after parentheses that only applies to what is in the parentheses and not outside so again if you don't know what I'm talking about then uh, I'll explain it probably in the upcoming tutorials and I actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change things up I'm actually gonna answer this homework problem in the next tutorial so if you don't know what I'm talking about then you will then but if you get what I'm saying that you only take what's ever in the parentheses and times that by two so pretty much you have two of this molecule right here then you can go ahead and answer this question so the question is what do you have left what molecule is it and how many of them first person to answer gets to donate five dollars to me so congratulations good luck and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial where we will be answering this question so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time